Consider the case in which one of the roots is repeated. In this fraction, the denominator polynomial has a repeated root at s equals to 0. If we expand this fraction, we get a1 over s plus 2 plus a2 over s plus a3 over s squared. You will notice that a1 and a3 can be found using the cover-up method i.e. coefficient a1 can be found by multiplying h of s with s plus 2 and setting s equals to minus 2. Similarly, the coefficient a2 can be found by multiplying h of s with s squared and setting s equals to 0. The challenge, perhaps, is in finding coefficient a2. a2 can be found either using cross-multiplication, which is normally the choice of students to avoid errors, or alternatively using the differentiation technique, which will be shown here. Please see previous video for more details on the differentiation method. If, for example, the s pole is repeated more than twice, you could continue differentiating to find the other coefficient in a similar manner. Now we have obtained a1, a2, and a3, we can rewrite the fraction h of s as a sum of simpler fractions. This will allow us to use Laplace table in order to find the inverse of h of s. In a similar fashion, in order to verify the partial fraction using MATLAB, we need to take a note of the coefficients vectors of the polynomials representing the numerator and denominator. Remember, you can always find your numerator and denominator coefficients vector using MATLAB if you have a complicated fraction perhaps by using the symbolic math toolbox. Using the residue function in MATLAB, we will find that you get a vector for the residue, which is R, a vector for the poles, which is B, and the direct terms expressed in vector K. Please note that the first value in the R vector corresponds to the first value in the pole vector. So the 1.25 corresponds to the pole at minus 2. Since we have two zeros in the pole vector, 
we know that we have a repeated pole and the repetition is twice so looking at the pole vector the second and the third values are both zero and this means we have a multiple roots if multiple roots are present at the same location which is s equals to zero then the residues are arranged as per the pole multiplicity in our case the negative 0 0.25 corresponds to the S pole and the 0 0.5 corresponds to the S squared. Since it is a straightforward to use the Laplace tables to find the inverse of H of S, we will not be using or verifying our results using the I Laplace function in MATLAB. However, we will use the I Laplace in later videos where we have complex roots or a combination between complex roots and repeated roots.